Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel. I just got into my second year at film school and I was thinking of sharing some of the great experiences I've had so far. During my last year of high school, I started thinking about what to do next, you know, college and that kind of stuff. And because I wanted to go into films, I did some research and I found out about Met Film School in London. It seemed pretty interesting to me as I checked their website on Google and I found out that their campus is based at Ealing Studios, which is one of the oldest film studios in the world and the school is based next to their sound stages which are still active and many productions still use them. I wasn't 100% sure that I'd apply to Met Film School but um, last year in 2020 on the first week of March I went to London for an open day at school and it was astonishing to see the school's facilities, their equipment, the classrooms, the sound stage they have for students and many other things and that that was when I realized that I wanted to go there and, and that's when I made up my mind and I applied for it. So the course I applied for is a BA in practical filmmaking. I remember as part of the application process I had to write a few essays about my interest in films, what got me into them, what my career goals are and why I want to be a filmmaker, that kind of stuff. And I also had to send them some of the work or you know kind of short films I might have done up to that point. I'll never forget how exciting it was to walk into Wheeling Studios for the first time. Now I'm used to it because I go there every day. <laughs> but again, because they're active studios and there is a lot of productions taking place there, seeing those trailers in the parking lot is pure energy for someone who wants to be in that industry. And this adds to the reasons why I wanted to go to London to study films. Because the UK has a huge film industry. Now let's get straight to the point. What do I do as a film student? What do our classes consist of and that kind of stuff. Our course started in October after a few weeks of pre-induction, induction stuff, you know, kind of getting to know each other. There were a lot of film suggestions and reading suggestions and that was very interesting. So we started off with uh, Ideas and Story, which was a module about screenwriting pretty much. It was very interesting, especially for those like me who aspire to become writers and directors, you know. So for about a month we explored storytelling uh, through scripts, meets, legends, fairy tales and, and writing. And our final task, our final submission assignment for this module was to write a treatment for a short film in addition to a script for it. So we had to come up with a logline, a synopsis, write the character biographies and eventually the script. And that was a lot of fun, though I reckon that writing can be very painful. So after this module we had Christmas break. We went back home for three, four weeks and then COVID hit again and we were online for two months. So we started back again in January and we did uh, post-production one, which is pretty much uh, editing classes. We did it online because uh, we pretty much needed a computer to do it so we could do it online rather than in class. And we got trained on Adobe Premiere Pro at a basic level, of course, because that was level four, which is pretty much the basic stuff that you get trained on and that you learn. So we, uh, we had to edit a bunch of stuff, lots of short films, lots of cool stuff. So we explored storytelling through uh, editing and how filmmakers use the cutting room to manipulate the images and the footage and tell the story they want to tell. That was fun as well, but unfortunately being online didn't help being involved as much as we wanted, you know? Also, we did our first directing class online, and that was kind of painful, but I learned so much and it was definitely one of the best classes I've ever had in my life. Because again, as an aspiring writer and director, seeing the reality of the industry and how films are made, it's one of the best things you can, you can ever experience. <laughs> Later on, we uh, went back to school physically, and we started using cameras and sound equipment. First we got trained on a small Canon camcorder, but then we moved up to uh, the Sony FS7, which is quite a big camera and it's professional, very professional. So through image and sound, the, the module about cinematography we learned about lighting, how to set up you know, the lights on set, um, how to convey emotions and anything you need, you need to convey through images and through the camera. We also got trained on uh, microphones, you know, uh, how to use sound on set and all of that. And that was very interesting. But again, it was the basic level at first. 
So after cinematography and sound, we moved into production skills. And that's basically learning what the role of the producer is, how to run a production, as well as understand what the key roles on set are, like the script supervisor, the first AD, and all these elements are important in order to understand the phase of pre-production, which is what happens uh, when you start planning the shoot and when you schedule the making of the film. So right after this module, which was super important for all of us to understand what life on set is like, we moved to short form productions. Now, before I move on, let me go back to January for a moment. That's when we were given the opportunity to present our ideas for our short films between five and seven minutes in front of a pitching panel. About 52 projects were pitched and 25 of them were greenlit and picked. And mine was one of them. I won't tell you anything about it because I'm about to upload it on my YouTube channel. So you'll find it there. Anyway, in June we started filming and each production had to find their crew members and we got 300 pounds for each production. So the school gave us different time slots for the productions because of course there is a limited amount of kits that we could get from the school and that included the Sony F7 and some Zoom H sound recorders. It was a great opportunity I'm pretty sure for everyone because we had the possibility to be on set and make an actual short film. It was a great experience because all of these projects were different to one another. And filmmaking is about learning how to overcome obstacles as well, because there might be a bunch of them on set. And that's why you learn a lot of things, by making and with your hands on the camera. The main reasons why I decided to go to film school is that you meet a lot of people from different backgrounds, people who have your same ambitions, but also people who aspire to be something else. I know people who want to be cinematographers, editors, and that is very good connections that at one point come to you because filmmaking is also about networking and reaching out people when you need them or when they might need you. The school offers a lot of opportunities and London is a huge city where you can find a lot of opportunities as well in this kind of industry. But it always takes patience and time and even some luck at times, honestly. But that's part of this industry. It's a very fast-paced environment. I guess this is it for today. I'll come back to you about my film school. I'll tell you more about my life as a film student with more videos. And this was just an overall video about what I've done so far at school. Now, please subscribe if you're interested in more about my life here in London as a, an aspiring writer and director uh, and also if you're interested in the short film that I'm about to upload uh, it's called Sunstruck and I can't wait for any of you to see it please like, comment, I can't wait to be back with a new video please check out my other film suggestions and I'll see you soon, bye!